Everyone name's Lee. Welcome to the JJ Movie Two Switch Ash Games, everybody. Now I'm gonna give you my original season four episode seven review. High Water and a Devil's Daughter. What can I say about this episode originals? This episode was freaking fantastic. In order to get rid of the Hollow, Vincent uh, has an idea of basically uh, re doing the Harvest Ritual to reconnect to the ancestors. And uh, Vincent doesn't. Uh, Vincent had an idea about it, but he said he doesn't want to do it because no four girls are going to be willing to sacrifice themselves for this. So Elijah decides to kill four girls. This shows a, uh, once again what Elijah is willing to do to protect his family. He's willing to protect. Uh, he's willing to kill four uh, teenage girls, sacrifice them, and in order for Vincent to, to do the uh, to do the harvest ceremony to, to get the ancestors there. And the ancestors, being the ancestors, you know the uh, pricks, the assholes that they are, they decide they not to accept Vincent's offering and let those four girls die. So, um, Davina accepts it. Davina from the other side accepts the harvest the ritual and so she's only standing between them and the hollow so she has all the power and she stands between them and the hollow the original family and vincent just really does not like elijah right now he finds him disgusting a parasite upon the city so elijah has done a great many things so far even though he's trying to change and what he's going to be without clouds when he doesn't need to worry about his brother's salvation he still is going to be a protector of his family, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to protect his family. He is vicious, and how he just slaughtered uh, four girls, even though they got resurrected for the harvest, they are still, that was still a bold move by Elijah. A move that, hell, no one could really done, but Elijah's a man. Another thing, um, Freya and Keelan, the werewolf girl, finally got together. Freya was pissed off that she let her emotions get the better of her and almost her family was almost killed because of the people that because she had, has connection to someone else other than her family. I, I like that the relationship. I'm glad they kissed. And officially, they're officially saying that Freya is no longer immortal. I've been waiting to hear those words for the longest. But yeah, Freya is no longer immortal. I, I'm not sure if she can have kids. So we'll see where this relationship goes. But I guarantee, but for some odd reason... Why do I think that all love interests of the originals are going to die? So I think Keelan's going to die and Freya's going to feel bad about it. Another thing we're probably going to have is, um... Another thing that happened during this entire episode, we get a lot of bonding moments between uh, Klaus and Haley about how they want to raise their daughter. Like, Klaus says she should be adored like a goddess. And then Haley's like, she just wants to jump, jump rope with the little kids. So they have this little parenting stuff, and it's just really adorable and, um... Uh, Hope is talking to Marcel, and Marcel just has some revelations that reveal to himself that, you know, he hates Klaus. You know, he says he doesn't hate Klaus anymore, which I don't think is true. I think he still does hate Klaus, but he still loves Klaus. And the fact that he used that word love, and it's just like the so like, little sibling stuff. Like, Marcel's the big older brother, and Hope is definitely the little child. And Hope and Marcel had a great chemistry with each other. Those two act the actors together, they did great with each other. And Hope is just... An awesome character so far that we have seen. Um, I love uh, Marcel, how he was... The dynamic between Marcel and Hope. And how both, at the end of this episode, Marcel and uh, Klaus are going to be on the same side in order to protect their family and and always and forever. And I really like that how Marcel will be there for Hope. And another thing, Dominic is, I believe, officially dead now after Klaus beheaded him at uh, this time. And after they attacked the compound... Uh, what I did not like about this episode, Dominic was able to kill Freya, but she was able to be resurrected because of the whole, like, eh, I forgot the medical term eh, for that. I know the, I know about all the vampire stuff, I don't know about the medical term. Not the Heimlich, but, eh, but eh, she, like, CPR and all that stuff, there we go, CPR, what the fuck was with me. But, uh, Keelan did CPR on Freya, she got, she came back alive. But what I did not like about that is just that Freya's been... If she was dead like that, then she shouldn't have survived. But whatever, this is a TV show. I hate it too much, but that is a flaw in this uh, episode to me. Also, we get a little bit of how Josh hates Freya about all the stuff that's happened. And Freya uh, convinced Josh to be as Marcel, to be a camouflage version of Marcel, and to basically um get rid of Dominic. And eventually he's taken down, but... um. I don't know if we've seen the last of Dominic. I believe he will show up later on, but who knows? This guy is the basically the Hollow's uh, number one. It's the high priestess of the Hollow. And the Hollow, we figure out, is also a female. 
Now, how we know this? Well, we see a ghost-like figure of a little girl, and she's basically um, Dominic before I get into the hollow who she is or what she is. Um, Dominic uh, uh, found out Sophia betrayed him last episode. He decides to dagger her with Papa Tunis Blade. And at the end of it, Sophia is possessed by the hollow spirit, which looks like this creepy little girl like from the grudge and shit. And it took control of Sophia, so now Sophia is now completely into the hollow stuff. Looks like later on uh, for next episode, we're going to see um, Alaric and Davina. So that's a big plus right there. So I cannot wait to see more of this. I was really happy to see Hope once again because we didn't have her for like the last two episodes. Which kind of brought those episodes down a bit. But overall, um, episode 7, pretty solid. We're halfway through the dang season. I am so not happy about that. I wish it was 22 episodes instead of freaking 13. But overall, I'm liking the hollow where it's going around. Maybe... Now we're getting this physical presence. Who knows? Maybe we'll just jump to other bodies and whatnot. But it's going to be very interesting. I Like I said, I don't see Sophia surviving this. I don't see Keelan surviving this uh, series finale. I mean, the season finale or series. Please, not the series. But um, the originals, I hope it continues until season 5 and get a 22 arc so we can get 100 episodes of the originals. But overall, this show is fantastic. It's amazing. Love the relationship drama. Uh, uh, not a relationship drama, but love the family drama between Marcel, Klaus, uh, Klaus and Elijah, Haley and Klaus, Haley and Hope, uh, Klaus and Hope. Just this whole family dynamic that I love about the originals is still brought up in season four. And this episode just had a great many moments of family moments. So yeah, original season four, episode seven. I was going to say hell or high water, but no, it's high water and a devil's daughter. So everyone named Elise, let me know what y'all think. Everyone subscribe if you like this screen down below. Comment down below. Let me know. Respect my opinion. Respect your name's Elise. I'm going for you everybody. Bye-bye.